Hello, my artistic friends, or even my want-to-be artistic friends. Today, we have the March 2020 Smart Art Box. Let's see what's inside. Are you ready? We're digging right in. We have the instruction booklet. Looks very fun. Fashion shimmer, fashion liner. Okay, so I have to say, because last week's video I said... I peeked inside and wasn't quite ready to do it. It was only because I needed some time to think about what I was going to do with it. Any box that has Marabou products in it, which this is full of, makes me very happy. So here are all the supplies. Quite a big selection this time. Lots of brushes and I forgot to mention those most important part, the sticker and the candy. My cat's helping again. So the sticker is something they've started to change every month. I really like that. And the candy they've started to include as well, which Art Snacks does. And so Smart Art Box is now trying to stay with that theme. And it's really great. Lots of fun. So we have these textile plus paints. And you are able to paint on fabric with these. And if you iron them and set them, you can wash and dry them. So those are pretty fun. There's lots of colors there. The black is the one I have in my hand right now. You can see we have a lot of other colors, so really good stuff. Can't wait to see how it works out. We've got denim fabric, a couple of brushes, stencil, the whole works. This week's prompts are tall, vintage, treasure, and wise. So. We'll see how we can incorporate those. We have a half inch angle brush here, and this one came soft, which surprised me. They usually have sizing on them, but this one, when you take the plastic off of it, you can tell that it's got that sizing. I guess it's sizing. What is that called? Let me know in the comments below. So I just have to run this over, not over, but under water and some soap, and then let it dry out before I actually use it. We are going to be combining the first two prompts, tall and vintage, together. And to do that, we will take the light piece of fabric and we are going to tape it on this piece of acrylic board. And here's me taping it on. Exciting, huh? The exciting part is actually when you take the tape off, but here we have me taping it on. Why did I tape it? Because this fabric has a tendency to buckle when you put this paint on it. And so I wanted it to stay put. And then you get this lovely footage of me trying to use a compass and failing because my compass has a loose center. So I have to work on it and see if I can't get it to stay straight. Good news is you can actually erase on this fabric. So then I grabbed my masking tape instead, but that was too little. And I grabbed my mug warmer, which I use every day. And it was about the right size. And I have my... Prismacolor Cole Erase Pencil from a previous box. I don't remember if it was a palette full or a Smart Art subscription box, but here I have just the lids of these textile paints, and there was a lot of paint in the lids themselves after I shook them up to make them, I thought, ready to paint. <clears throat> and you can see I tried the little round brush first, and it was really soft and it didn't work. So I grabbed my angle brush instead and tried that for the swatches. And then I went ahead and did my little drawing in the color race. Even though it was a little hard to see, I had it on my desk and really I was just too lazy to get anything else. So that's why we ended up with that one. And in case you were wondering, the retail value of this box ends up being $59.54. And if you paid their full subscription price, you would be paying $49.99 per month. And I have a lifetime coupon, so I end up paying $45.99 or $44.99 $44 per month. So I get a decent deal there. And I will link all these supplies down below. Usually when I look them up separately on Amazon, and usually I only look at Amazon because it takes a while to do that, the price seems pretty equivalent. It's usually within a dollar or two. So you're getting a good deal with these smart art boxes these days. Used to not be the case. And smart art boxes really stepped up. So life is good. So you can see here that I have put in the colors that I have, the yellow, the green, the red, and if I use any other color, it's going to be the blue and the black, but I need to save the blue for 
the main character, which can you guess what it is? I haven't told you yet. And I need to use the black, <clears throat> excuse me, for the lining. So I need to mix a color. And so I've grabbed the little plastic cup from a previous art subscription box and I'm going to mix in the yellow and the red and maybe get brown. But then turns out that when I mix the yellow and the red, I get such a pretty orange that I just keep that instead. So here is my orange. I kind of made the mistake of leaving that paint in there afterwards and it's actually still in my water bu bucket so we'll see if that paint comes off because it definitely acts kind of like acrylic and you can see here putting that on having the orange with the blue background it definitely dulls it down so putting multiple coats on it to make it look like it's bright enough and that helps a lot. And here I use the blue and then I put a coat of white right over the top of it and kind of mix it in to make it a lighter blue. And that was really fun. And then I use this brush <clears throat> to line it with black and it just works okay. This brush is too soft for this kind of paint on this kind of fabric. So really they should, probably should have put a little bit stiffer brush in for this kind of project. So can you tell what this is yet? Put the comment below, let me know. It's a little bit obvious at this point, actually. <laughs> it's Mr. Tall, Roger Hargreaves, Mr. Tall. So I've read the brochure that came with this about these fabric sheets. And there's nothing in there that says that these are iron on, but on the back, I noticed that there's some kind of sheen. You probably see that glinting in the sunlight there. And I kind of suspect that this is an iron-on glue stuff. So I'm not sure why the instruction sheet doesn't say so. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. My cute little Mr. Tall design. And then I have a t-shirt here. And to set this paint you have to iron it for a certain amount of time with a fabric over it and then I'm gonna put the t-shirt under it and see what happens also it's a good thing that I probably tape this down because you can see that it's all rolling up and that would have been annoying so there we go so I just cut it out <clears throat> And then I f actually found my iron. <laughs> Wasn't actually hard, I actually knew where it was. Surprise, surprise. Found my ironing board. Had this shirt in my cupboard forever in my art stuff, so it was totally wrinkly, so had to deal with that first. And then I used this towel that was actually a little bit too thick. And you were supposed to iron it on the cotton setting for three minutes in order to heat set the paint. So I went and got a thinner towel and I tried that out. And you can see here in a minute that it worked really well. It is sticking to this t-shirt so whatever is the backing on these denim sheets that are sent in this box is sticky so I think it's going to stay on the shirt and there you go I have a cute little shirt with Mr. Tall on it so as the impatient artist that I am and knowing that the Mr. Tall project took a couple hours <laughs> I want to do something else way faster because you know, painting on fabric is not my jam, so it is interesting, and I still have this, that, and this to use, but, hmm, it's going to have to be faster than two, two and a half hours, so what can you guys think of to do for wise and treasure? Let me know in the comments below, because... I'm not coming up with much here, but I will have faith. Stay tuned. I think I've come up with some semblance of an idea. So for some reason, vintage makes me think of wallpaper, probably because a lot of old homes have wallpaper in them. And I think that you could probably use the shimmer spray, fashion shimmer with the stencil to create kind of a wallpapery effect in the background. But I'm thinking we need some color down here. I've used the black fabric and we'll get some color down here first to dilute it a bit. And to dilute it, I'm gonna use the red 
So even though the shimmer spray looks red on the top, it has a very maroon type of glimmer to it. So I'm thinking, and from the brochure, I'm thinking it will come out a little bit pink. So it looks very pink in the brochure and on the front. So I'm thinking having the red background will kind of be like the old red wallpaper we see in a lot of old homes and we'll see what happens. So I definitely do take that red paint and just kind of smear it all over the black and very randomly just plop it down just to get a little bit of a background color on there before I spray the shimmer spray over the top. And so I take the stencil and I just kind of randomly place it and spray. It took me a long time to prime this spray and I actually needed to shake it more. So make sure you shake it a lot. I have a good background. So then I grabbed the packaging from the stencil and tested the liner on it to make sure it wouldn't just splooge out everywhere. And it kind of did. So I just used my fingers to take that off. And I'm putting my design here in, it's supposed to be a book, but I don't think it really looks like a book. I'm not really sure what it looks like, but that's okay. And then, yeah, I could use more of my lettering practice because I am lettering again, which I'm not good at. But there is my last thing for wise and treasure. Wise people treasure knowledge. So you can see if I put on a t-shirt, it will actually look really nice. Even though it doesn't look like a book, but that's okay, right? Yeah, it's an experiment. So as usual with these products, we have a ton of product left. We've done all four prompts. Com granted, we've combined two into one each time, but hey, you know, more power to us. So this is practically completely full. Every Everything, everything is completely full. You saw me add the paint from these, only from the lid with the exception of the green. I did dip into the bottle for that one because I had a little bit more green on my Mr. Tall. And I have all this stuff left. And these brushes, like I was telling you, this is pretty soft, so it might actually be fun for watercolor. Even though it's just a synthetic brush, it's it's pretty cool and I don't have this size for watercolor so I'm probably going to put it in my watercolor collection to start with and I may move this over to my acrylics we will see and all this is left my niece has a bunch of shirt designs she likes on Facebook that she's tagged me in so maybe I will use these to make her a shirt or I'll paint directly on the shirt using this and I will also keep this stuff around to try on regular paper because they say you can use it on regular paper and you don't have to heat set it. Of course, it would just be like regular paint. And I'm kind of excited. I love Marabu products. So we've got all this goodness and we're gonna use it eventually. Thanks for joining me today. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below and I will see you next week. And it will help also just if with the drawing and whatever and here it's a really good thing that i was cutting this out because i just sprayed paint off the edge so yay for cutting out oh and here's my cute little kitty she's so sweet i just love her <laughs>